I believe our reputation and the secret of our success is based in the service that we give, which I believe is exemplary, um, in the quality of the product we produce um, in terms of paper quality and content. That's where the secret lies, I think. And with Hubble and Hattie, I think we, the, the imprint is becoming known as, as uh, an ethical um, um, one. I publish books that are really of genuine benefit to the animals that they, they cover. I think the, the future is unlimited, um, and I'd like to adopt the RAF uh, motto, Puraja ad Astra, through difficulty to the stars. Uh, yes, when I left school I went to Norman Air Garrett to join their technical publications department um, in Yeovil and having always been a, a petrol head, um, when I saw a job advertised with Haynes, who uh, were then a very small company with only 18 manuals, so I jumped at the chance of applying and I was lucky enough to get the job. And as I approached 40 and a uh, recession was looming and I was asked to make people redundant, I saw an opportunity to start my own company with my partner Jude. Uh, I was with Haynes for 10 years and was quite willing to uh, go along with Rod and we, we both took redundancy, put our money into the company and set up the company together. Uh, it was very interesting. We always tried to give the impression that the company was bigger than it actually was. Um, and, for instance, we used to have people uh, calling to ask for our accounts department and whoever hadn't answered the phone would then be asked to answer be it. Be the accounts department. To be the accounts yeah. department. We also received calls all through the, the night from Japan and places like that. So there were some... Uh, Associated problems. Yeah, but it was it was a good start. It was a good way to, and, and the barn was one that we'd actually converted ourselves, and so that was you know, that was good as well. So it was a good good use, and it did it. For, we well, we were there for five years. Uh, it was the Alfa Romeo Julia GT and GTA, uh, a book that had been cancelled by Haynes because of the recession. Um, and ironically, one that's proven to be uh, an excellent seller for us. It's still in print. Um, or just about to go into a new edition today, 20 years later. That was in August 1996. Um, we'd really just outgrown the barn. It was it had become too much really. We couldn't ever have any, have any private life. Um, so we found these really good offices in Dorchester and moved in, just the two of us, in a lot of space. Um, rattled around a bit for a while, but soon began to fill it with new employees. Yeah, uh, a couple of years ago we decided that we wanted to have more than one string to our, our bow, um, business-wise, and because that's my area of interest, um, we thought it was an ideal imprint to, or and subject to cover, so Hubble and Hattie was born in October 2009, and going strong today.
RAC is a very strong brand. They have uh, 7 million members in the UK. Um, probably 80% of people uh, on the high street would recognise the brand and its associated high quality values. We hope to uh, use the brand in order to create a series of books that we take into um, maybe supermarkets and certainly into Halfords and other um, high street accessory stores. Which will be new markets for us, which we we're not in at the moment, so will be additional um, new areas to sell in. Uh, the working facility is excellent, uh, very pleasant. Uh, we've got loads of room to expand, we've got room to stock books. We've also been able to create a studio come workshop so we can carry out practical work and take uh, photographs, record videos. The downside currently is that um, the current economic situation means that we haven't been able to expand as quickly as we would like. So uh, frustratingly we're um, just uh, rather stuck at, at the moment uh, and just waiting for the situation to improve so that we can carry on our plan and uh, employ more people. In the current financial year we'll be doing 75 new titles, some of which will be Hubble and Hattie. Yeah, there'll be uh, uh, 12 new Hubble and Hattie ones this year and then uh, 11 for next year. I think we'd have to say that they were the MX5 workshop manuals, which were um, amongst the first projects we undertook as a company. Uh, when we left Haynes, Jude and I purchased a, a Mazda MX5, which was a fairly novel model then. It was the first year that it's they were available. Year, hadn't it? Mm. And we literally did strip it in, in the garage at uh, the barn and took thousands of photographs. Um, and I wrote the manual over the next few months. and. It became um, Motorbook International, our, our USA distributor's bestseller for several months, so it really uh, supported Veloce through the early period. Mm, and still continues to sell. I mean, it is the t definitive manual, really, isn't it, on the, it's very on highly, the MX-5? very highly regarded, yeah. yes. My dog is blind, um, which is part of a series that, that, that we do, and it's meant to be a practical guide. And also in America, it's very well, it's set, selling very well. And because Hubble and Hattie both went blind um, in their later years, it was one I wanted to do, um, enjoyed doing, and I, and I feel is a very worthwhile title. So I'm pleased that it's turned out so well. In some ways tremendously, in other ways very little. Um, we started our business just at the advent of desktop publishing and we set up with Apple Macs, which enabled us to do in two small offices what uh, you would have needed many people to do in a much larger space previously. Um, and through the life of the company, the, the software um, that allows uh, publication of books has improved uh, exponentially and now we can do almost anything, including creating apps and uh, e-books. <laughs> Don't at the moment. <laughs> Wait to it's, see how things are going to go, I think. Uh, there are two things. We, we have the current economic situation, which is not helping, but also publishers are finding it very difficult to map the future in terms of where our priorities will lie, whether that be with physical books, with e-books, uh, with apps, um, which include uh, additional uh, features such as video and so on. Um, I suspect it would be a bit of each, but quite how the land lies, we won't know for some time.
I am very excited about the opportunities they, they give us. Uh, we have already created several apps within house um, and we've been able to take an existing series of books and add uh, interest and additional features to them by introducing commentary and uh, video clips. Uh, so I see a very bright future there. Mm, and I think that goes for the Hubble and Hattie imprint too because uh, that several titles there lend themselves very well to that. We also have um, an e-book, Hubble and Hattie e-book, uh, available now on Kindle as well as um, iPad. So it's interesting, interesting to see how that will um, turn out. I believe it will be the Jaguar uh, E-Type restoration manual. Great deal of interest in the E-Type at the moment. Great number of cars still out there. Many of them now needing second or even third restorations and this will be the definitive Jaguar restoration book. Uh, great confidence in it. In 2012, very excited about the book by Sir Patrick Moore, the, uh, the uh, well-known astronomer, um, about his beloved cats. Um, quite a character is Patrick, I've met him several times now, and a um, very bright, funny man, so I think that will be a winner. I think the future is unlimited, and I'd like to adopt the RAF uh, motto, Puraja ad Astra, through difficulty to the stars. It's always been our company policy to resolve uh, difficulties within the company, to learn how to create new product, to learn how to make apps, to learn how to make e-books. Uh, we are very self-sufficient and I think that stands us in very good stead for the future. It gives us lots of exciting uh, possibilities in terms of how we will trade in the future and uh, new areas of business that will open up to us. And obviously as soon as we can we want to carry on with the expansion plans that we've got. We've got 16 employees at the moment, that includes Rod and, and myself, um, and we've got a lot of space here that we want to fill with people that you know are working for Veloce and going forward in that way. Yes, we could easily triple the number of employees in the space that we've got, so yeah. that's uh, something we would very much like to do when uh, the economic situation improves. I believe our reputation and the secret of our success is based in the service that we give, which I believe is exemplary, um, in the quality of the product that we produce um, in terms of paper quality and content. We're very serious about our books. We don't waste any, any trees um, to produce rubbish. Uh, our practical books in particular give very good guidance. It's probably not available anywhere else if you're wanting to tune a car or restore a car. Um, so that's where the secret lies, I think. And with Hubble and Hattie, I think we the, the imprint is becoming known as, as a, an ethical um, um, one. I publish books that are really of genuine benefit to the animals that they, they cover. Um, and another thing that I would like to do in the future, if um, finances allow, is to make some sort of um, contribution to various animal charities from the proceeds of the books that we, we publish, if we can do that. I mean, you know, I would like to be helping in any way that I can. Um, so that's something for the future. <laughs>